Hello and welcome to the Old Flyers. In a recent video I posted, I told how Boom Supersonic was partnering with Northrop Grumman to provide high-speed government transport aircraft. Northrop Grumman, unlike Boom, has been around for a while. Leroy Grumman established the Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation in 1929. During World War II, they built American Navy aircraft. The Northrop Company was founded by Jack Northrop in 1939 and in 1994 they were able to buy Grumman. This conglomerate is now one of the largest defence contractors in the world. Here are some of the aircraft built by these companies. serious military hardware. How then did Northrop Grumman branch out into pure science, specifically the exploration of our universe using space observatories? The first of these was the Hubble Space Telescope in 1990. It was named after American astronomer Edwin Hubble, known for extra galactic astronomy and the observation that the universe is expanding at an increasingly higher speed the further distance from Earth. Northrop Grumman designed and fabricated the optical benches and thermal controls, provided engineering support and designed the tools used by the astronauts to service the telescope in space. This allowed Hubble to continue its mission and capture some of the most remarkable images of the universe to date. Hubble orbits 326 miles above Earth's surface and has made more than 1.5 million observations over the course of its lifetime. In 1991, the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory was launched to observe the high energy universe. The Compton's four science instruments covered six orders of magnitude in energy. This allowed the observatory to advance the study of gamma ray bursts, map the Milky Way, and share insights into the distribution of high energy radiation. It too was built by Northrop Grumman. In 1999, Chandra X-ray Observatory was launched. This is the world's most powerful X-ray telescope to study dark matter, black holes, and supernova remnants. Chandra even teamed up with Webb in 2022 to scan the universe in new ways and will mark 25 years in service this summer. In 2003, the Spitzer Space Telescope was built to peer into the corners of space that are invisible to optical telescopes. Spitzer was the first infrared observatory to detect light from an exoplanet. It also developed the first weather map highlighting temperature differentiations of an alien planet. Northrop Grumman engineers developed technical concepts that supported the infrared array camera. When it comes to state-of-the-art technologies, Webb is the undisputed infrared powerhouse. Built by Northrop Grumman and launched in 2021, Webb is the first space-deployable observatory. In other words, it travelled to space, folded, 
origami style inside a rocket and then unfolded its sunshield and mirrors on its voyage a million miles away to Lagrange Point 2. Lagrange Point 2 is a point in space 1.5 million kilometers behind the Earth, so constantly in Earth's shadow. Gravitational forces and orbital motion balance each other at that point. A space observatory can hover here, providing both a stable platform and constant temperature. Charlie Atkinson, chief engineer of the Webb program at Northrop Grumman said, Webb is only in its sophomore year of science operations and with every new discovery it makes, we're proving that our design and meticulous engineering will serve as a gateway for habitable worlds observatory. Today, a dedicated team at Northrop Grumman provides maintenance support to Webb using test beds that simulate the observatory on the ground and developing flight software to ensure Webb continues to operate optimally. Here are just three of the most outstanding observations it has made so far. One, the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe. This was Webb's first deep field image taken in 2022 and was made possible by Northrop Grumman development of an advanced cryo cooler system. Two, the Southern Ring Nebula. Three, the Pillars of Creation. In 1995, Hubble had photographed this image revealed by Webb in 2022 in exquisite detail. Not a bad resume for an aviation company founded to build aircraft. The company has been awarded many prestigious awards for its work such as the Collier Trophy. Thank you for watching. To support our channel, donations are gratefully welcomed. Please like and subscribe for more content.